Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about the issue in which uh, whenever we try to send an email from a printer or a scanner or any third party application or a website, it goes into the junk of a user mailbox. So let's get started. So whenever we try to send out emails from printer, scanner or any third party application, be it a web browser using SMTP relay method uh, in respect to Office 365, it happens because we use the same email address to send out email from a third party and a untrusted source. So your printer, your scanner or even your website is not recognized by Microsoft as a trusted source. So any email which has the same domain would be characterized as a spoofing email. So now we know the reason why it goes into the junk folder of a mailbox to which it is sent to. So let's go ahead and talk about how to fix it. So uh, to fix it, we basically need a sample of the email which has been sent from the printer or the scanner or the third party where you are relaying the email to the user we will basically get the information of the email and we will try to find out few characteristics of the email which are common and uh, we will whitelist them in the office admin center we basically need the ip address from where the email has been sent from usually we have a static IP address but uh, if you have multiple IP addresses used by different scanner printer or a website uh, you can get them um, and then we will whitelist them in the connection filter in office 365 to mark them as not spam so uh, let's check the email first where we will find the IP address so for example, if this is the email which has landed to your chunk, uh, you can simply click on this email in your Outlook, click twice on it and then click on this small arrow which reads as message option. And once click on it, you will see all the information here. Just select them all and copy them. And then uh, you can close this, close this and open a notepad. And then you can paste it here. So uh, for us to check the IP, you can find it under sender IP address or the connection. Here is one IP address. and here is the other one so uh, CIP which you see connection IP under X forefront anti-spam report is the IP address which we need to whitelist for some reason I'm getting this maybe it is on the same network that could be the reason but uh, you will have to get the connection IP address and then uh, go to the office admin center then we will go to exchange admin center and you can take multiple samples of the email as well compare the connection IP addresses if you see differences in them uh, you can add all of them in the connection filter so uh, we'll go to protection and here is the connection filter you just have to click on the default one no need to create a new one and go to connection filtering and this is the section where we want to add the IP addresses IP allow list so just hit plus sign paste the IP address here click OK and then you should see it under this box and there are also block IP address lists as well. If you want to block email coming from specific location, you can do that from here. Once done, uh, you can save it from here and uh, go ahead and give it a try. 
try sending out email again from the printer scanner third party email or a website it should land in the inbox of any user within this tenant without any issue so do let me know how it goes for you if you have any question do drop it in the comment section till then you have a nice